What's up guys? So today we got an X station install, which is basically this. It's an SD card that replaces the CD ROM drive in your PlayStation so you can load all your games from an SD card instead of using the actual discs. So it's right here. We're gonna talk about more about it, but we're just gonna jump right into the install real fast. And you gotta install this board on the back and then you also have to lift the pins on this chip. So we're just gonna start lifting these pins real quick and I'm, I'm gonna use my precision tweezers. These, I love these tweezers, I love tweezers. You probably heard me talk a lot about tweezers. These are really good tweezers and boom, did you see how easy that was? Boom, pin lifted. Whoa, I got a little fuzzy on the video right there, but whatever, we got plenty more to lift. So uh, I'm basically just following the installation uh, install diagram from the X station. You get it from Castlemania Games. Uh, it's a hundred dollars for the X station. You can um, find all the information. I'll put it all in the description. And then I was just following their install guide as to what pins to lift. And I'm going by and I'm sort of lifting the pins. And I'm just trying to lift them off the board. Like if you see those ones, they're all scraggly. And then you see I need to reflow the solder underneath. I'm gonna do all that later. I'm just focusing on getting the pins up for right now. But those two points are very important because the lifted pins, you can't have them touching and you can't have any bridges. But first and foremost, we just wanna lift them up and then we'll clean them up. So using my precision tweezers and I'm just heating it gently and then sort of just moving it gently and just trying to pry it upwards. And then once we get it pried a little bit, we can lift the, uh, slide the tweezers underneath and then actually just straight lift it up. And then once we get it lifted, we can kind of bend it back into place so it's not touching anything, and then reflow the solder underneath so the solder's not sticking up whatsoever. As you see there, it's not touching anything, solder's good. And then this one, we need to lift these three um, in a row. And I think my head got in the way and I ended up, we only see me lifting this one but I ended up lifting all three. So, like I said, um, you get this from Castlemania Games, and basically I'm just following the install diagram, and uh, this isn't necessarily a video for you to like follow it one-to-one -one directly. It's more so just to see a full install of it, but if you were actually gonna do this, it would be cool to see the video first, just to get an idea of what you're going through. Oh, I think I just failed and tried to show you that all the pins were lifted. But whatever, all the pins were lifted, and then here we go. Now we're going to install the quick solder board. So there's two vias, and we're going to use a scratch pen to uh, scratch off the solder mask. It's a fiberglass scratch pen. <clears throat> I've used these and talked about these in other videos. And very nifty, very handy, very useful for when you have to solder to like a via like this. You can erase the solder mask off by scratching it away so you can actually, you know, put flux and solder on it. And then I clean up all the old solder masks that we just scratched off. And then uh, here we got the quick solder board ready to go in. So we're just adding a little bit of flux to this one point because we need some anchor points because in order to get this on there, we basically need to tack on like two, two or three points like across it. You know what I mean? Like one bottom right, top middle bottom left so here we're going to get this first one as like a like I say like an anchor point to basically get it in place and I think my head my hair got in the way of that one so this one will go better this is the second anchor point whatever you want to call it adding the liquid flux I'm not I'm I've I'm not really shy with flux. I like to use a lot of flux. It, re it really helps. It makes everything a lot easier. For me, I find it is it just makes the solder flow. It makes it stick. It makes it connect. So with this quick solder board, what, uh, I don't know if I'm doing a good job of showing it in the video, but I like to push down every connection to make sure that the board, the quick solder board, is as flat to the PlayStation 1 motherboard as possible. Now, speaking of the PlayStation 1 motherboard, this um, this is the PU18 motherboard revision because this exact PlayStation also is going to get the HDMI install uh, after this. So I'm using the PU18 uh, PlayStation 1. 
because I believe um, the HDMI mod and the X station are not compatible with every single revision of the PS1. So if you're gonna do this, double check what version PS1 you have and stuff like that. And boom, just look how easy all these solder joints are just flowing in. I breezed through this. This was this was really fun. This was the fun part. Um, they just they just tap. Oh, it just goes on so nice. Look at that. But that's because we scratch penned it. And look at me trying to show the camera how nice the solder joint is, but that didn't work. So here we go. We'll just go get to these points, and we're gonna do that all the outside ones first. Yeah, man. Just just watch. Just watch the solder flow with the flux, man. It just goes so smooth. Look at those connections. It just went so easy. I love it. So the I use uh, MG Chemicals No No Clean Liquid Flux, I believe is what it's called. It literally says it on the thing. I don't know um, uh, where I got those tiny little bottles from, but I've just been reusing them. I think I got the little bottles somewhere on Amazon and just been reusing them ever since and just keep filling them up from the big bottle of Flux. Works really well. And uh, I, use, I use it a lot. I go through them a lot. And right now, after they're all attached, the circular ones, I'm just reflowing them just to make sure that the solder dripped through the holes fully and connected to the point on the bottom of the board. And um, whoever designed this quick solder board did a really good job because it went on so smooth and so easy and every point was perfectly lined up and whoever made this did a, a really, really good job designing it. So now we have the final point to do and we have to remove this resistor and we, so we're going to remove that resistor, just hit it with some flux because we're basically just going to cover the whole resistor and solder. Just cover the whole thing and just wipe it away. It flipped over, but we wiped it away. And now we need to go to the point right above the resistor. And then once we solder this wire to that, that'll go to the quick solder board. And then, then we're done with like the physical install of this. This was very, very, very easy. Uh, I've been very, I've been contemplating like, I, I, I think I might want to come back to doing installs for people just for this one. I had a lot of fun doing this. This was really fun. So here's the last piece, the last solder joint of the entire thing. And we're just going to flow that on super nicely, flip it around, get that nice yellow wire. Yellow is my favorite color. So I like the yellow wire. I didn't know what other color to do. Boom. And done. So that's that. Now we still have to do the SD card format. Oh, and we actually have to cut part of the PlayStation. We act we have to cut this though. It said it in the install. We have to cut it so it'll fit. Because it won't fit if you don't. So we did that. And that's not the only cut I'm gonna make on this PlayStation. I got like five more mods on this PlayStation that are going in. So now we just attach this uh, flex ribbon cable to the bottom of that, and that will actually connect to the X station on top, and then we'll print it down. And like I said, you can get these from Castlemania Games. That's where they um, that's where they come from. And I believe that's the only place to get them. And then I got this, which is the 3D printed mount from LaserBear.net, because he was printing these. He designed this. And this was really nice and convenient. I wanted my buddy Tom Barber, who does all my 3D printing for me, to print one. But it was the holidays and it was busy, so I, I felt bad bothering my buddy Tom Barber. But you best believe in the future, Tom Barber is going to keep doing all my 3D printing because we love Tom Barber. So here it goes. This is it just in place just to see how nice it fits. Um, and then here we are on the computer. So following the guide, it said to use SD card formatter. So I just downloaded and just did it, you know, instead of just using my own computer to just format it. I was like, whatever, it's a nice little program. It said it works best using this. So I was just like, yeah, we'll just do that. So boom, the SD cards formatted. And this is actually really simple on the computer aspect of this. I think I blew up, I zoomed in too much on my computer screen and it doesn't really look blurry, but it's okay. So you just make a folder in the root called 00xstation and then you download two files 
uh, for it. And then you put those two files inside that X station folder. And then you just copy all the games into the root of the folder. So we're gonna pull up a game. We're only gonna transfer one right now just to test it. And then we'll load the whole SD card up later. Um, choice PS1 is the name of that folder. All the choice PS1 games in my opinion. So we're just gonna copy over a Lundra. And then we're gonna eject the SD card from the computer. We're gonna pop it out of my little nifty little SD card holder thingy that I got right here. And then we're gonna pop it into the PlayStation. Man, I really like the dude who did the 3D print on, on this, the laserbear.net uh, guy. He did a really good job designing this and it was a really nice quality print and it really, it's the perfect color. Like he did a really good job of that. So that actually is really happy. Oh, look at my face in the reflection of the CRT. So boom, X station, no games found. But it says just refresh the game list after like adding games to the SD card and they'll pop up. So there it is, there's a Lundra. And that's done. So thank you everybody, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was cool to see, I hope this was enjoyable to watch just the soldering. Whether or not you wanna do it or gonna do it, I hope you still just enjoyed. And stay tuned because this PlayStation, this isn't the only mod that I've done to this PlayStation. There's a lot more going on and I'm gonna make a video about each individual mod for it because it's really, really cool. So thank you guys, thank you everybody. Thank you to all you guys in Discord. Thanks to everybody who follows me on all the social medias, interacting on social media. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.